Debbie Allen did a documentary around her hot cho chocolate nutcracker mm -hmm. series, uh, series um, dance concert that she does every year here in LA. And she talks very candidly in that about the fact that when she was growing up and even with her daughter Vivian, that ideology around black women and ballet still existed. So I say all of that to say, what was it about that subject that made you interested enough in it to make it into a short film? Yeah, so I came across these girls um, on, well, through Instagram. And I, I remember being on the Explore page and I watched one video and was like, yo, these are, these are black girls doing ballet, but it's like, it's different. And I saw them like moonwalking, like on point, I was like, yo, this is dope. Like I, I, I gotta like, I got to look at more, like searching more. And I kept searching and searching. And then I ended up just researching them and saw they did a bunch of commercials for like Old Navy and Mercedes Benz and things like that. So I was like, man, these girls are amazing. And then found out that they were based here in Chicago. So I was like, all right, that's a sign. <laughs> like I have to do something with these girls. Um, they just blew me away, like from the very first moment I came across them. Um, and initially my, the, the, the concept that I wanted to do was, you know, make a music video with them that was kind of inspirational. Like, you know, it was supposed to be a music video so people can just see, you know, how good they were and like get really like tight shots of the point shoes. And, you know, like I had no, I had no background in, in dance or ballet. I played football my entire, my entire That's what life. I was wondering, because I was like, <laughs> does he have an affinity to dance? Does he, is somebody in his family a dancer? Like, I, nope. yeah, I was wondering about that. Yeah, I, I, I have like no, no history with dance at all. But, and, and that was the thing that, that, that really like brought me into it was because I had no like relation to this at all, but I was just blown away. Oh, I know that Spike Lee and Spike Jones are inspirations for your filmmaking. Why mm -hmm. those two particular people and what exactly is it about their filmmaking that is inspirational to you? Yeah, so um, along with Spike Jones and Spike Lee, I think one of the other major filmmakers um, is Hype Williams. Like I, I, I grew up as a kid watching music videos. Um, I grew up in the nineties and I was like glued to MTV, the box, BET. And I just always enjoy watching music videos. Um, with Spike Lee, my introduction to him was seeing all of the um, Jordan commercials that he, that he did. Um, and then from there, you know, I saw do the right thing and like you know he got game and like all these different films and I was just always intrigued by him doing the double dolly shot where somebody would be sitting in front of the camera and then like floating through the scene and then his use of um framing for like filming different emotions like if somebody's really big in the frame it shows power and if somebody's small it shows weakness um with Spike Jones the way that he thinks like it's 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 so incredible to see so many things happening in one frame. And I think Spike Jones is like really, really good at that. Like from the early days of watching Beastie Boys videos and things like that. And they were always just like wacky. And, you know, um, I've just always been a fan of that type of filmmaking. So my, my ultimate goal for this film was for it to be seen by the masses. So when I was approached by NBC and they said, you know, we're taking these, we we're highlighting black films and, you know, it was called Scene in Color. I was like, oh, this is like, this is perfect. Like, this is exactly, you know, what I wanted for this film, you know, not only for it to be inspirational, but to shed light on who the hip white ballerinas are and like what they do. Um, what is your favorite black story on film that you could watch over and over and over again without hesitation? That's so hard. <laughs> that's, that's, that's really, really You know hard. you got a favorite movie or your favorite. Okay, how about your top, <laughs> how about your top two or your top five? I love, love stories when it comes to just this film in general. So, um, so yeah, Love Jones and Do the Right Thing would be my top two. 
I'd say those are two good picks. You know, I'm from the Midwest too. I'm from St. Louis. So we got that okay. in common. Hey, nice. Midwest in the Midwest. house. <laughs> well, Addison, this has been so much fun. Thank you so much for taking time out of your afternoon there in Chicago to holler at a sister and talk oh, yeah. about hip lay. I'm looking for really wonderful things for you moving forward. I hope that you have an opportunity to even collaborate with Spike Lee or Spike Jones or Hype Williams at some point. That would be awesome because that would be a total full circle moment for you. Absolutely. And I, I, I truly appreciate you having me in. You know, thank you for watching the film and enjoying it. That that means so much to me. Oh, it was, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. I boohooed like a baby. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I cried and I cried and it was tears of joy. Just so you know, I wasn't crying. I was like, Ooh, <laughs> I was crying because I was, I was filled up with a lot of joy and a lot of pride and a lot of enthusiasm that this young brother has put these young women on spotlight, because this is something that you would expect to see a woman directing just by virtue in nature of what it is you wouldn't expect you know somebody that's like a malcolm jamal warner doppelganger in chicago to be <laughs> directing something like that i'm just saying <laughs> i hear that i hear that so much people say i look like him so much it's, it's so funny that she said <laughs> it's true all right baby thank you <laughs> thank you so much